Well, this is the street residents are concerned about. Eldora is plagued with potholes on this part of the street. As you can see, they were filled up this morning, but residents are concerned they'll be back next time it rains. The road Naomi Silva lives on is smooth and even, but to get home, she has to drive through this, a patchwork of holes on Eldora and San Juan. As of right now, I'm going really slow and already behind me, there's a truck trying to push me out of the way and I do not feel like it's necessary to go more than 10. Only going 10 miles per hour at best. She dreads the daily drive and the wear and tear on her car. The madness of the potholes is really, really getting me frustrated. Monday, city workers began filling the potholes with asphalt, but taxpayers say it isn't enough. They want more done. This muddy track of tires is evidence of what drivers do to avoid damaging their cars. Many drivers use this street, which is Nadia Street, to avoid the potholes over on Eldora. As you can see, the speed limit's only 20 miles per hour, but neighbors say that drivers go a lot faster than that, which makes it unsafe for neighborhood children. Here about a month now. I came down to visit my family and uh, I see a lot of traffic to here speeding. Probably doing about 30 to 40. Silva says the patchwork is a waste of taxpayers' money and wants a permanent solution. And you're happy to see the rain, but then you start thinking about, oh, that it's going to mess up the potholes all over again. So it's an up and down thing. And residents have been very vocal about their frustration with this street. They're hoping the city will find a permanent solution for their problem. In San Juan, I'm Nadia Glendo, Action 4 News.